Twenty-three minutes. Hamisa of seven. There's one way. There's one word to describe landlord-tenant relationship. Strife. How do you like that? Strife. View from the fire escape. Sitting on the fire escape, I sip a drink, knowing that while it's a long time between lunch and dinner, today is Sunday, beautiful Sunday, reminding me of an old saying, either give me more wine or leave me alone. <laughs> so I fill my glass to the brim. The fire escape frames my view of the outside world. No tall flowers, no garden of delicate flower pots, just a rectangular mass of rusted metal waiting to be used. Ah, standing down below, in front of the building, is that landlord. Yes, that fine purveyor of tiny apartments, <laughs> sporadic maintenance, outrageous rents, dirty hallways, smelly garbage, and outrageous and outrageous rents. His beady eyes search the streets, his bald head moving left to right, but never upward. I marvel at the stupidity of this Republican. <laughs> Tempted to drop a reminder from three stories up on his baldy head, I wonder if it would leave an indelible black mark. A reminder of the conflict between landlord and tenant. But then, you know, I reconsider. People would notice that mark as little as they do the cracks in the sidewalk. I might as well do nothing. A gentle wind materializes from somewhere downtown where the battery meets the Hudson, bringing with it an earthly ocean smell from a faraway sea. Overhead, a silent gray mass of pigeons float in a half moon, hovering in the sky, moving effortlessly over the tops of tenements before circling back to Thompson Square Park. So, looking past the fire escape, my heart goes where my eyes go. And I raise my glass to toast Sunday for what it is. Thank you. Wow.